What's going on everyone? So in this video, we are going to be going over Webull paper trading. How to paper trade at Webull, a full tutorial. Here in this video, it's actually pretty simple. It's pretty easy to get set up with, it's free. Um, and so we're gonna be going over that in this video. So right now here we are on the Webull web app. You can actually download the software to have on your computer and use the Webull platform on your computer, or you can get the app for your phone, so mobile app, which I actually have the mobile app and I use the web app here on my computer. I don't have the software downloaded because I don't really feel like I need to, but you can if you would like. And so this is the web app. Um, it's very similar to the software. And your phone, you're gonna find something very, very similar to that. The mobile trading aspect to Webull, you're gonna find very, very similar to the paper trading um, mobile aspect to the app. So it's very, very similar, and we're gonna go into everything. So on the left-hand side right here, you'll probably have a watch list section. So if you're on the computer version, web app version, whatever you have the software, you're gonna look something like this. Then you can get rid of the quotes, whatever. I don't have a watch list here. I don't have that on, the, on this page. Um, I just don't really care to do so. I have it on my phone, so it's easier for me to see. Um, you can look at stocks here. You can look at all this. You can customize everything. This is going to give you guys, this is like more of like the charts, so it's going to make it very, very easy for you to see the charts. If you want to look up a specific stock, for example, I have pulled up Acor. It's like a penny stock that I'm actually swing trading right now. Um, by the way, I do make those videos going over my swing trades for the past week. Those come out every single Saturday, so make sure you are subscribed so you actually get to see those videos, what I'm holding, what I'm finding, what I'm learning when it comes to the penny stocks that I am trading that week. Keep going down the list here. We have the markets, so you can guys get more of an overview of the markets. If you would like, it's actually pretty useful if you want to take a peek at all this information. I like Webull for a free platform. It's actually really, really useful. Going down, we can find the screener tab here. Um, you can screen for socks. I'm going to have a video going over how that works. And then going down, we can go to the trading tab, so you can put in a quick trade, pull up a stock, pull up some time in sales, pull up whatever you want, and you can customize all these things. All you gotta do is go to the top right corner and make a new board and customize your new board and do whatever you wanna do with that board. So I can click on boards, go to the normal board, go to list board, I can do all that stuff and I have it all customized. So it's pretty cool, especially on the desktop. When you're on your computer and you can see all these things, it's pretty cool. Your phone, of course, you can't see all this, it's not gonna look as nice and as clean. But then we come down here to the account. So this is my account as of right now. What we have in the account, what's going on, uh, what everything's looking like. So 300% gains over the past couple months. Pretty good when I started this account back around 225 bucks in late November, early or late November. Um, as of right now, it is the end of April. And so a couple months later, we're over $4,000. Now I have put in some money in this account for sure. But again, still a solid percentage return. But now let's go into the actual paper trading platform. So it's the bottom little tab here on the left-hand side. This is the paper trading account. So what I have right here is you, if you're fresh, brand new, you have your Webull account. And by the way, if you jump down below, you're gonna get two free stocks when you sign up to Webull. How do you do that? Your first free stock when your account gets approved, your second free stock when you deposit $100 into your account, and that free stock is valued between $12 and $1,400. So Make sure you take advantage of that. If you can't deposit that much, deposit five bucks, deposit 10 bucks, whatever you're comfortable with, or don't deposit any money at all and get set up with the paper trading platform, which we have right here. So you can actually change how much money you are using in your paper trading account. Now, if you're gonna be starting in here clean, fresh, it's gonna have a million dollars here. I, I changed mine to $10,000 to so see how it works. Um, it's easy to reset on the app or on here. It's very, very easy to do. And once you kind of figure out how much money you want to play with, or whether it's you want to trade with a million dollars, whether you want to trade with $10,000, $10,000 is the minimum. You must have at least $10,000 to trade with in your paper trading account. They don't allow you to go lower. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see this right here. It says paper, this is paper trading. It is not a real trade, okay? So you're actually not making this official trade. No actual money is being put into the markets. So you're not going to see it on time and sales. And that's what's showing right here. And what you can do to customize this, this is of course, paper trading platform, kind of back office, whatever you want to call it. Go right here, widget settings, and you can customize what you want, your positions, which I have on the left-hand side here, your orders, which you can have here, um, which we'll have right here. So we're showing your working orders, failed, canceled, failed, and all orders, if you want to show all that. It's gonna give you guys everything you need to see. Quantity of shares, limit price, stop price, trailing up, stop amount, all that stuff. So that's really, really good stuff. Um, we can scroll across, boom, we can refresh here in the bottom if you would like, um, especially if things aren't loading, if you lose connection or something like that. Um, we can go to the stock section, we can pull up the charts, which we have right here. We can see the NASDAQ total view. Um, I believe you wanna see like, things like level two quotes and, and there's more information from NASDAQ total view. I believe there's actually paid versions of that. I don't really recommend that, especially as a beginner. Time and sales, which I have right here, and then trading side, which we can pull up right here and put in a trade for any stock we want. Now, what I will say though is right now, it's after hours, it's the weekend, I'm filming this video, so nothing's moving. But when stuff's moving, you know, this is obviously gonna be updating real time. You're gonna see this updating real time. So it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool to see. And so let's say I want to trade a stock. 
Um, let's say Boeing. I go to BA. I can pull up BA right here. And right now what I have set is, see this little one? It's set as a group. And so I can have these all set so that when I change Boeing right here, it's going to change to Boeing everywhere. You may not want to do that, but that's how I have it set. And you can change that and change these to all different groups. And so if you want something to change as you type in a new symbol somewhere, you can set it to a specific group and then pair up the groups across where you want that to change. So if I don't want to change my chart, but I want to change and put into quick order, I can make this group two and I can make maybe time and sales group two, or I can leave time and sales with group one and time and sales might stay with Apple as I change to Boeing, whatever stock I want to do. For me right now, I think it's pretty good to have everything kind of synced. And so I'll have everything kind of synced up um, as one, as, as group one in that sense. Okay, so that makes it pretty easy. And in terms of the charting right here, uh, it's, it's, I think it's pretty useful to have, especially if you're going to be putting orders through. Um, you can arrange and, and how much you want to, you know, how big everything is going to be. If the chart's too small, chart's too big, whatever you want to do, you can rearrange that to your liking. But what we see right here on the chart side, these are not the candles that you're, these are not normal candles. So you can go to the line side right here and check in, and this is all going to kind of correlate over to the same thing as if you were trading on Weeble not the paper trading account, but it kind of works the same way here in the paper trading account. So I can have all these different, you can do a candle, very simple candle chart. You can do a hollow candle. You can do a baseline. I don't really like that. Uh, I like to see the candles or you can do this type of candle. I don't really know how to, I'm not going to make a butchering of the name, but it's, it's, this is the type of candle that I tend to have been using recently. It's more of like an average as we can kind of see in the body. And so it gives you like a better sense to what's going on in the price action because sometimes you're gonna have these wild spikes up and down and it's like, oh my, and it can really throw you off, especially if you're a day trader, someone who's doing this more, um, you want more specific, quick data, you need to, like, more of an average. It's kind of helpful. I like it. It's a lot easier to, to develop trends or to see the trends developing in terms of on a downside or the upside, okay? So that's what I like to do right there. Now, of course, the chart, you can change the intervals out to whatever you would like. One day, one minute, you can change all this stuff. So of course, that's gonna be up to you. You can see the, vi the volume coming in, green buying volume, red selling volume. You can see all that stuff. You can zoom this thing out to the one day chart, day chart. So this is gonna be really easy to see. Earnings, you can see earnings, dividends. You can see all these different things, with the stocks you pull up here in your account. And that's pretty much how it works. If you want to trade any stocks, you can. You just can't trade options. That's the one downside to this. Is you cannot paper trade options on Weeble, and I want to make that very clear. So it's it's useful to at least, if you're someone who looks into options trading, it's useful to maybe just paper trade with a million dollars, trade with a lot more money, get a sense with how these stocks look. So if you're looking to trade and trade options, I'd recommend the option stocks. What, what option stocks I recommend? The Boeings, the Netflix, the Apples, the Amazons, the stocks that are moving a few dollars a day. So it's going to be a lot easier to buy a contract that's, for example, for Boeing right now, which is trading at 132 or so, to buy a 135 call, right? And Boeing can easily get to 140 in, in one day, easily, right? And, and so that call can go into the money by a few bucks. And so you can be, you know, a couple hundred dollars in profit off one contract very, very quick. So if you're going to be trading stocks that are under $50 in terms of options, I wouldn't recommend that. It's going to be a little bit slower. It might take a little bit longer unless you get a massive, massive move to the upside or downside. And so that's your kind of your, your push and pull right there. So it's up to you to kind of see what you what, what fits best for you. But I would recommend the bigger stocks over $100 generally um, in terms of options trading. Now, what you also see here is your paper account tab. This tab right here is going to tell you how much money your account is worth. It's going to have net assets, daily P&L, all this stuff. So this is very, very similar. If I go back to my main account, it's very, very similar to this tab right here, okay? So it's like the same thing as your real account, except it's just the paper trading account. So that's that. It's gonna show you the charts, everything. So as you start using this, it's gonna be very, very useful, I think. Um, and then you can easily transition over to Weeble. So if you're someone who's brand new, you wanna sign up to Weeble, make sure you jump down below to get your two free stocks, by the way. But if you're brand new, use the paper trading account first, especially if you have money coming in. Now you will be granted buying power instantly once you deposit money into your account. So that's cool. But if you don't want to waste, if you don't want to, you know, risk that money initially, you're someone who's brand new, use the paper trading platform. It's actually pretty cool. It's pretty useful. So use that platform first, get a sense for how stocks move, get a sense for the stocks you're trading, get a feel for the platform. And then it's going to be very, very easy to come back over to your real account, trade with real money, and actually implement everything you've been learning on the paper side. So hopefully that makes sense. It's very, very similar on the app. It's very similar. It's a little bit, you know, there's less stuff on the screen essentially, it's, but it's very similar to the, how the app works. You learn how to paper trade on the Weeble app. You can easily take that over to the actual app, the regular real account on your Weeble app. It's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. There's a tab for quick trade performance and all that stuff. So it's all very, very easy and very similar to how the app works. 
I highly recommend you get some paper trading if you're someone who is brand new to trading. But that's how Webull paper trading works, that's how the platform looks. Uh, and again, like I said before, guys, link down below to sign up to Webull, get your two free stocks when you sign up. That second free stock between $12 and $1,400 after you deposit $100 into your account. I'm posting videos going over my trades in this real account every single Saturday, so make sure you are subscribed for that. Hit the thumbs up button, and I'm posting every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I'll see you in the next one.